name is Cheryl Schumann. I'm the founder of the Beverly Hills Canvas Club. I'm an activist and a marijuana business expert throughout the country. And I also work in Israel, Canada, and other countries as well to develop their marijuana programming. I received a call from Raymond Schwab after I had retweeted some of his tweets when he started talking about on social media losing his children. Uh, we had a very long conversation, at least over an hour, maybe two. And I was just so captivated by the story. And I come from uh, a veteran family. My uncle Danny is a Vietnam War veteran. My father is a veteran. And when I learned about the fact that this, this veteran family had lost their children, uh, and being a legal medical marijuana patient in the state of Colorado and, and Kansas has their children. I mean, just simply put it, it's just wrong. And when you see that kind of injustice, you can't just sit in your chair. It's not okay. And when they asked me to get involved, I jumped into action. I literally haven't slept in the past four days. I organized um, the opportunity to get Matt Pappas, a civil rights attorney here, to come and help file a lawsuit on behalf of the Schwab family. And we're here to start a national media campaign to make sure that there's enough awareness about this, that this case can be used as a role model for changing case law. And it's my hope that the work that we do here starting in Kansas to show the barbaric laws that are in this system now. It's my hope that we can change case law so that no family ever has to go through this again. We have to protect our children and that's why I'm here. I get contacted all the time from people who are afraid to come out of the closet, especially in an illegal state. They don't know what to do. But the most important thing that you can do is create an awareness campaign. So simple little things like retweeting, showing up at rallies, you know, you don't, have to, you don't have to jeopardize your freedom to get involved. You can help by just spreading awareness, talking about this, sharing it on social media, coming to the rallies. We have another one on Friday here at 11 o'clock. Come out and support us. Even if you're in the crowd and no one's bothering you, come out and support us because we need your support. And those children need to come home. So anything that you can do as far as helping call your local media, getting them out to come and look at these rallies, getting your friends to come to the rally, sharing it on social media. Anything is helpful. And I always tell people, realize the power that you have. Think about the fact that third world countries are overcoming bad uh, dictatorships and governments and taking their countries back. We can take our country back too because this is the land of the free the, and the home of the brave. We've got a great, a really true brave group of souls here and a very dynamic team and we're going to see this through till the end. We're going to get those kids back and we're going to make sure that this never happens to any other families.